Aries, welcome back to your messages. Let's see what Spirit has for you. Aries. What messages do you have for Aries? You want to let Aries know? What can you show me about Aries? What messages do you have for Aries? There's a lot of focus here on self-love, rebuilding, rebuilding something. This could be in your life in regards to work or just growth, right, with the self. Like you're rebuilding because something has, something has fallen down, something has fallen apart, Aries. Something was unexpectedly kind of brought into your life that really changed a lot for you, unexpected change through this change there's been a lot of potentially disappointment heartbreak jealousy right but there's also been a lot of focus from you to you and your life in regards to rebuilding and focusing on your your skills your happiness your peace there's a major wish fulfillment here that's taking place um, and it looks like you brought this into your life because of your ability to stand strong through whatever this pain, disruption, chaos was, right? This unexpected change that, you know, there was some disappointment tied up to it, like your your choice to stay in your power, in your confidence with the King of Wands here, your choice to stay focused on what really matters to you, your purpose, your gifts, your choice to stay open open-hearted right keep your heart open as it when it hurts right that's the hardest times it's 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 always the hardest to keep your heart open when life is like showing you when life is a happening in a way that makes you want to close close off right to love and everything like that but your ability to kind of recognize your true self and stay connected to that self and not let the disappointments of life make you close your heart space off it's powerful you brought these opportunities or this change I want to say you brought this peace and happiness into your life These, this wish fulfillment that's what it was you brought this wish fulfillment into your life because of your ability to understand that that was a bump in the road although maybe it was drastic and it maybe hurt like hell you, you recognize it was not the end you kept your heart open and you continued to be open to opportunities, possibilities, and love. And you didn't let the end of something or the pain from something, you didn't let it take you out of your element, you know? You remained true to you. Sorry, I meant to show the king of wands. You remain true to you. There could be some sort of apology coming your way. Somebody really apologizing to you for something with the Page of Cups. But this also could just be like a very sincere and somebody sincere entering your life, right? Somebody that just sees you for who you are. You're a very comfortable energy to be around. You're a very um, healing energy to be around. You're very generous. You're generous with your time. You're generous with your love. You're generous with um, how you show up for others. And I feel 
somebody that was jealous of the way that you are, the way you exist, or what you have, or maybe they were just, who knows, right? This card said jealousy on it. And then with the tower, it's like, somebody could have done something that created disruption in your life due to their jealousy and your ability to stay unfazed and just focused on like what really matters, which is love <laughs> in any way, shape or form, however you want to bring love into your life or you focus on love, right? You stayed focused on love, even though they were operating out of hate. People see you in a different light now because you survived what you remained you. You know, you remained you. You remained, like, grounded and focused on the right things. You didn't let that disappointment or that betrayal or anything like that. You didn't let it take you out of character. People are seeing you as somebody, like, look, you had all these snakes around you, Aries. A lot of sneaky energy, whether it was your own deception, whether it was, it feels like a lot of other energies, though, due to jealousy. Somebody doesn't like, somebody did not like something about you, Aries, and that did not bother you. You stayed doing what you know to do. You stayed focusing on the things that bring abundance and prosperity into your life. You kept honing in on your gifts, uh, your spiritual gifts, right? Look at you tapping into the freaking cosmos right here. <laughs> You're locked in. This is in the cave. Locked in. Focused on manifesting happiness and bringing more compassion and generosity into the world. It has people seeing you in a different light because they're seeing like, damn. All that stuff was happening to Aries, and Aries didn't even flinch. Like, what? <laughs> Aries didn't fall down? Even though we took everything? Like, I, we tried to destroy Aries. We tried to make them close their heart space, off, heart space off. Aries is still, like... Aries is still being nice. <laughs> Aries is still being kind. Aries is still loving Aries and being in their peace. Like... You're impressing a lot of people, Aries. You're, you're shocking people. You're showing people that you don't have to fight fire with fire. That's powerful. <laughs> That's powerful, Aries. Three of Pentacles, verse three of swords. Yeah, there's, a, there's some energies here, Aries. Group energy. You might feel betrayed by some, some people. Some people that... maybe you trusted or believed in or something like that and so it's like hmm, I don't know you might have felt really betrayed Aries but you didn't let the betrayal break you you let it you let it bring you into even more alignment you came back stronger Aries you came back stronger spirit is saying it's time for you to speak your truth now right all the snakes all the fakes all the jakes <laughs> speak your truth stay in your peace stay focused on the right thing right don't fight fire with fire but really just shine your gifts. All these things that you've been um, focused on in this cave, right? Manifesting. This wish fulfillment is here for you. And it's time for you to use your voice, your charisma, your um, your influence, right? Use your energy and use your voice to share your, share your story of the world trying to put you on fire, right? <laughs> the world trying to put you on fire. Share that story with the world. Do it fearlessly because you have a lot of wisdom and you have a lot of knowledge that could, or something that you do, is a lot of stuff. Share your voice. Share your gifts. They tried to light you on fire and tear everything out of your life and you responded with love share that story it's going to inspire so many people Whew. i don't know what the fuck that was that sounded like a firework <laughs> threw me off guard a major confirmation though thank you spirit yeah look, look 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 you got something to share it's going to be very very it's up to you whether you share it or not but it's it has the ability to put a lot of smiles, a lot of love into the world, you know, a lot of smiles on people's faces, like, damn, Aries did that? <laughs> Aries did that? Aries went through that? Yep, Aries survived. <laughs> you survived, Aries. Share that story. Justice on the spoon. All right, 
anything else that you would like to share with Aries? King of Cups. God seeing everything. Restitution. Finds stolen objects and discovers the person responsible. Seven of Pentacles, the lovely God. Discernment, general prosperity, the deliverance of prisoners. Show me more. Some of you could be 57. Some of you could be 69. The Ace of Swords, the Emperor. Like unto God with the Emperor, political authority, Give safe travel and protects against conspiracies. Your name is being cleared, Aries. Nine of Cups on the bottom. And then the Ace of Swords says, God above all names elevated. Affinity and friendships. Obtain the friendship of anyone. Damn. But basically what I'm seeing here is like, you stood You stood through everything with your heart open. All the good things and the bad things. You tried, you know? And this... You stay true to you. You stay true to you. Your resilience is something that is very admired. Your story, your truth... You sharing it is going to help you. You're going to... You don't have to share your truth, but like the truth, it has opened up doors of prosperity for you, general prosperity, like prosperity in general, whatever that means. Your truth has opened up doors of success for you and how far, how many, how far you walk through those doors or how many doors of those you open is up to you, but it's available to you because you went through something that you wasn't supposed to really make it through Aries. You were not supposed to survive that. You were supposed to be uh, down bad. You were supposed to be down bad. But you held on to the light. And God saw everything. So you're going to be elevated to a position of authority or you're going to be able to share your truth. You're going to be aligned with a reality where your truth is going to help others, right? And it'll... The Eight of Wands, yeah. The Great and Exalted God. Grander. Makes one passionate toward God. Your gifts. Something that you do, Aries. Something that you do. It's ready to be shared. You have evolved through this experience. Your discernment's very strong at this time. But God saw everything, and so now... Your name is being cleared. Your name is being cleared because... You didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> the Nine of Cups. Healing preserves health and cures diseases. Your life is being restored. Your spirit is being restored. Vision quest. All right, let me get some closing messages. For Aries. The journey. Look at you. The owl protecting you, guiding you. Bottom of the deck, soul retrieval. Powerful. Let's read about it. All right, the journey. The journey is an invitation to step outside the boundaries of your life as you know it. The journey is not a holiday, it is a call to be hermit like and to go on a pilgrimage into the unknown. There are no maps to the territory you'll be exploring, no marked paths or road signs. The time to embark on the great journey is here. Do not linger in the port when distant shores are calling. Fearlessly draw your own navigational charts as you discover the route. When the time is right as it is now, you will be led true. Even when you are not sure of where you're going, it is the departure that is most important. If you miss the boat, a great opportunity will be lost and another ship may not arrive for a very long time. Take heed, Aries. <laughs> Use your discernment. And we have soul retrieval. So, Spirit's saying a big opportunity is here. 
It's time for you to uh don't miss the boat. <laughs> don't miss the departure time. Soul retrieval is a practice that helps you recover a part of yourself, your energy, your enthusiasm, or your innocence that you have lost. At first, we'll use soul retrieval to recover from our hurts and heal our childhood wounds. Later, we learn to journey to recover to journey to recover our original nature, that self that never left the Garden of Eden, who still speaks to the rivers, to the trees, and to God. When we return to Eden, we are whole again. You are no longer fragmented. You are one with creation. Powerful. You have healed the cause of the pain you feel, so you do not need to dwell on it any longer. Really, it's true. <laughs> Don't be distracted with the little stuff you've already mastered. Go for the big one, the journey back to Eden, the journey back home. You have learned so much throughout your experiences. Open your heart, Aries. You are loved. You are protected by the universe. You are definitely needed and desired. Your energetic signature and frequency in the environments on that boat of opportunity, you're supposed to be there, you know? I love this for you. All right, Aries. I will see you soon. If you would like to follow me on social media or you'd like to book a personal reading, links will be in the description box below. I'm about that. <laughs>